So, like I was saying, back to the bar. But yes, why I enjoy this game. Uh, and enjoyed Gothic, actually. Similar reasons for both. Um, they allow you to set immediate objectives for yourself and don't really force you to go in a given direction. Much sort of like Oblivion and uh, Skyrim do, but with so much implicitly going on in the world around you in Stalker and to a small degree in Gothic, it it feels more compelling to make your own decisions that don't seem to be directly outlined at, or spelled out as something you ought to do. You know, that rather than telling you, hey, you should go and check out this thing over here, you can say, what is that thing over there on your own? Go and check it out and find, oh hey, there's like a buttload of rare artifacts over here surrounded by anomalies that explode if I step in the wrong way. This is kind of an interesting little challenge which you found on your own and decided to go through on your own, not like, hey, you have a mission, go to this place and do this thing. I mean, being explicit about objectives has its place, don't get me wrong, but there's more compelling about the volition involved in uh, simply being able to pick on your own and see what decisions come of it, or see what interactions come of it. Got a spare suit back at the bar. A couple spare suits, actually. And he's about to jump by while he's uh, You are really, really bad at fighting, apparently. Oh, and now he's shooting at me. That was a mistake. First aid kits. Probably shouldn't have taken the pistol round, but I'm getting a little more. Friendlies! I will have a hot dog someday. Do you have anything to buy? No, you're all in like cutscene walk around. User mode. entered your channel. Hello! Oh. Oh. I am continuing the uh, streaming of Stalker. I found out that the last stream that I ran, I actually turned off my own microphone for the recording, so it doesn't have anything of what I said. It has what you guys said, though. Yep. I had a feeling. So all of that discussion of, uh, like, their good interface choices in allowing you to... Uh, Camp with the garbage again. Uh, of allowing Didn't you go to, through, yeah. Yeah. And the discussion of how poltergeists are really like annoying four year olds, and yeah, none of that was recorded. We should call this the, the uh, we should... the game designers let's play. <laughs> well, I have been talking a little bit about <laughs> design philosophy and what I've appreciated in Stalker as I've played it. Goodbye, as well as... I, I would suggest that we do this for Resident Evil 5 as well, but I think that's fairly, fairly obvious what the uh, design choices are, good and bad. Yeah, with what I've already mentioned, people can probably guess what I think of Resident Evil 5's, uh, at the very least, <coughs> guidance, I guess, would be a, a neutral enough term for it. 
uh, in your objectives and you know how the play works. It is yeah, a good no. game in it, several yeah, let's ways. Not, but... In case there's in, in an imaginary audience watching, yeah, let's not like say that it's a bad game because it's certainly something I enjoy playing. With like for example, in cooperative with you, but to put it bluntly, it's it's a dumb game. It's you not one play... that you really think through things. Well, you do at times, but only like in the cases of things like what, like what my what should my loadout be, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or, um, what route should I move carefully through this next area, taking, um, so that I avoid, uh, or engage the most or fewest enemies. But in terms of like, uh, yeah, that's very true. In terms of narrative. It, it's it's like watching a movie. Yeah. You're not really thinking about what's going on here. You're not thinking about the consequences of the implications. They're not foreshadowing much. It's the, saying it's like a movie is a good way of putting it because um, you it with a movie you are sitting down to watch and experience a story um, with a preset beginning, middle, and end, um, and an expected narrative arc with rising escalation falling action and all of the components therein. With Stalker, it's less like that and more like um, you are being inserted into the setting and making your own decisions relating to how to conduct yourself and what to do. Um, and I find that more compelling. That's probably why I also like things like Vader Kings and stuff like that, where Oh, a cheap guy shooting me through the side of a car. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they give no fucks for your physics. Well, so long as his face was also outside the. Case, I'm all <laughs> yeah, okay he's with still it. hurting. Did he have anything on That was another game that you. Another game that you probably might enjoy is Fallout 3. I mean, obviously, it's like if you enjoy Oblivion, you're gonna enjoy Fallout 3 to some extent. Mm -hmm. Maybe not to the same extent that you enjoyed Oblivion, but that's because that's that's me and our contrasting contrasting tastes, preference yes. and themes. Yes. It. I already actually mentioned a little bit of Oblivion and. Uh, Skyrim, uh, in what elements I found compelling of Stalker and Gothic versus Skyrim and Oblivion. Um, I mentioned that in Skyrim and Oblivion, there's more, rather than sort of plopping you down in a setting and just saying, go for it, like Stalker does, they do that to a degree in Oblivion and Skyrim. It, it thrusts it's, you into a main story arc. Well, so does Stalker, but... Um, yeah. What I found to be true in Skyrim and Oblivion was that it's, rather than being a big open world with very little guidance, it's a big open world with lots of little guidance. Ah. Uh. Um. And I suppose the same can be said of Stalker to a degree, but, uh, there's less compel- there's less, like, you must do X in Stalker, I find, or less of a feel of a perception of that, uh, might be because of how they structure their so-called objective or quest line stuff, but, you know, it's, if you mess up and don't go and <laughs> grab somebody their gun in time, it, it's not the end of the world, so. There's not necessarily a consequence, but there yeah. is a noticeable reaction 